You ready? Yeah, girl. Hey, Mike. Hey, man. What's up? I don't know, but are you ready for some ju- 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 Juice Project Plus G G G aka Galaxy Plus Galaxy Plus Galaxy? Um, yeah. Next. Well, I I just wasn't sure if you were ready for that. I just wanted to make sure. I hate you. So from all that, we have Treehouse's ju- 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 Juice Project Galaxy Plus Galaxy Plus Galaxy. And it's an Australian hop, and so it's a, their favorite Australian hop, dry hop. This rendition of the j j j j juice also presents the very first liquid galaxy product to make its way stateside. Oh. So it's like a galaxy, like, shot? Sure. I'll tell you this much. Um, we could have probably looked that up before we started. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, uh, our, well, both of us right now are using our phones for this, right? I'm using my iPad, but I was using my phone to prop the beer up. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> uh, it doesn't say. But I imagine if they, if it's like the first liquid product, it's got to be that like hot. So interesting. Yours, so Cal and I did a beer earlier, and yours looks just like his did on camera, but mine looks more like what it does in person. Interesting. Mine does look like this in person. This is that light? Yeah, it's sort of like a pale yellow almost. Mine's pale yellow, but not as pale as yours. Well, it's what it and is. I, I literally gave this can to Mike two days ago. <laughs> yeah, but and it's been yeah. in my fridge. Same, it's good enough. Dude. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> is this just Galaxy? I wasn't paying attention. Is this what? Is this just Galaxy? Well, it's got the word Galaxy three times in the title. If there's any other hops in it, that wouldn't make sense. It's false advertising. I think we could probably sue them if we had it. But I, we would have legal grounds to sue if this had more than Galaxy in it. Okay. It's probably not just Galaxy. Anyway, I, I mean, I, I don't even know. Um, but it is just... Galaxy? Juice. Like, this smells so fresh and so, like... Pineapple, this reminds me of not only green, but it also reminds me of like if like green and Congress Street had a baby. A baby. Because it's also got that, like, usually when you get like the treehouse galaxy pineapple smell, it's softer, it's a little more rounder. And you can get that in some of Trillium's con- um, galaxy beers too, but sometimes you get a little bit of a fresh batch and you still get that, that crushed pineapple and you still get that, like, really, um, that green note, uh, green note, that's still coming through here, and I think it works great. You yeah, know, but you, but it's also like a smorgasbord of fruit too. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. definitely getting like, like, just tropical bonanza. You know, like, and all mostly over ripened. You know, it, it smells awesome. Let's. Uh, hey, it's like smash. Like you can just barely touch it. Yeah, it's guava. You want it? Yeah, let's do it. Cheers. Clink. What? This reminds me of something. Yeah. The mouthfeel is kind of thick, kind of creamy, cloudy at the yeah. same time. Oh, it's definitely creamy. Um, it has interesting, it, 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 it's quite bitter at the start, you know? Uh, yep. and then it sort of unbitters off into like, cloudy soft juicy yumminess it's kind of interesting and then as i'm talking with my aftertaste i'm getting that like bubble gummy treehouse yeast but mm-hmm. a little bit of bitter, a little bit of bitterness a little bit of resin but there's also that like fresh pineapple overripe mango guava it's yep. so like lingering on my palate damn yeah this one has um has real length to it it kind of Sits in the the uh, the mouth like a like an old school porn star. So it says that this sounds like they finally re- they 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 started brewing with this immediately. Like, like the, the crops. I wonder if this is like a fresh crop. Is that supposed to mean like fresh? But like yeah, it's it's really interesting because 
uh, it does have like a kind of a shockingly bitter start. I, not even a bitter finish, it's a start. And, it, and it's funny because the, the beer Carolyn I did earlier, also I said it had a very big bitterness in it too, which was very strange for like a treehouse beer. You, have, you don't really see that that often. No. But you also don't get a beer often where you start off bitter and then it gets fruitier. Usually right. it's the other way around. That's how the other one did it. But yeah, this this, this is strange. But if you're a galaxy fiend, that you're, I mean, Jesus, this is what you're looking for. This is like, I, and honestly, the more I acclimate to the taste, the more pineapple I'm getting. It just like mm-hmm. explodes, just fresh pineapple, just. But then it starts off with that that resiny bitter, and then it kind of just gets nice and explosively juicy. It's really yeah. really interesting. It's been a while. So, well, well, I had a green earlier, and we had a green on Friday together. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, and Galaxy is definitely coming back in that sense. But this, yeah, is, yeah. this, this is like making me even more excited because this is the most gal- like the most Galaxy robust beer I've had since pre-pandemic, probably. Right. Like. Yeah, I mean, it it does have elements of like berry green and stuff like that, you know. But it's it is its own thing. It does it doesn't. Like I'm reminded of that, but it isn't that. It's interesting. It's because of all the galaxy. It's just yeah. exploding. Yeah, it's coming straight out. And I don't know if I've had any of the other juice. Pro- juice project is not something I think I've. I imagine this is another series, but yeah, I, I have, but not not recently. Yeah, I don't think I have. Maybe that's what it can. So the the can up. Mike and I were talking about right before we, we we started recording. Like we can't figure out. We know it's familiar. Yeah, we don't know what it is. We also yeah. both have our phones use, being used, so we can't figure it out. So, down in the comments, if you know what this is supposed to be from, it's, pro- it's probably like an anime or something, right? Maybe I, I don't. I honestly don't. Write. I think it's a comic book or something, but mm-hmm. I don't remember. Yeah, I mean, this beer is interesting, man. Like, it's keeping me kind of thinking about it in a way that I haven't had in a IPA in a while. Like, maybe like. Like something like herbs and orto, where the, like you sort of get a different things every time you take a sip. Every, it, you know, you can sort of chat about this for a while. It's funny you bring up a uh, hop butcher beer because I didn't want to. I didn't want to bring up hop, uh, hop butcher, but I, I was like, I don't want to bring up the brewery. But now that you said that, I, I will. When you said the comment, and I guess when I noticed it too, but 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 when you said it, I thought about this. When you said you get the bit, not that many beers, you get bitterness up front. And then you get to like the tropical. And I was like, that's a hop butcher thing for me. Like, because like, I feel like when I'm taking journeys with an IPA, a lot of the times with like hops and how it does different things across the palate, hop butcher seems to be the one brewery that can do that, that kind of like crazy stuff. And I was like, and when you said that, I was like, cause it's very rare you get the opposite. So I'm like, I can see that that seems like a hop butcher kind of palette, like painting to me, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm really into it. Just like I probably don't sound like it because I'm just like everything I'm doing is like hmm, what's that? I, you know, I'm I'm thinking about it more than I am. Uh, in yeah. no, I mean, I'm still enjoying it, but I, it's making me think instead of just. Um, sometimes you want a beer that makes you think. Sometimes you want something that you just just ignore. You can't ignore this. This beer will not be ignored. No, no, no. It is big. It's eight point seven percent. Like it's definitely a sipper sharer. It's. I remember when, when when Mike and I looked at the menu, we were like, shit, gotta get that beer. And then we got it the week later, and we've met. The, just like the fact that something has worked Galaxy three times, yeah, that's kind of up our alley. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's really good. I really like it. It's just, uh, it's it's a sipper. It's not a, a chugger, you know? Yeah. It's yeah. not a crusher. And what's it on the bottom? Pretty colors. Yeah, I guess so. Pretty colors. It makes sense. Um, but yeah, down in the comments, if you had Treehouse's ju- 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 Juice Project, Galaxy plus Galaxy plus Galaxy, 8.7% double IPA with Galaxy, what do you think of it? Um, what's your favorite Juice Project, I guess, um, variant in general? Also, don't forget to check out NerdSense.net from there, all of our social media spots. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'm Sean. That's Mike. This is NerdSense. Cheers. Cheers,